Hi everyone, my name is Natalie Ledwell and this is The Inspiration Show. Today we have a very special show because I actually have two guests with me today and they're in different locations. Uh, one is in uh, Melbourne in Australia, I think, and the other one is in Queensland. So, um, And then, of course, I'm here in LA. So it's quite a, a global situation. But today what we're going to be talking about is EFT, which is Emotional Freedom Technique or, or tapping, and how these two amazing women um, are using tapping um, and how they're getting some progress with it in Australia right now, and especially how they're working with children as well. So uh, before I get into the juiciness and introduce my guests, just make sure that if you are watching this on YouTube, don't forget to click the link underneath this video once you finish watching the show so that uh, you can take my 30 second quiz so we can see what's holding you back from success. So please help me welcome my special guest, Dr. Peter Stapleton. Hi, Peter. How are you? <laughs> I'm well, Natalie. Thank you. And Kate Helder. How are you, Kate? <laughs> I'm very well indeed and thrilled to be here with you today. Thanks, Nat. Yeah, wonderful. So we might start with you first, Kate. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about, um, you know, your background? Uh, you, you are with the, uh, the Heart Mind Connection uh, organisation. So can you tell us a little bit about that and how you got into doing this kind of work? Okay, so um, I was fortunate enough to meet up with Peter being a very well-known EFT researcher. It was in November 14, and at that time I just launched a product called Toolbox Time, which was a deck of cards to help people with self-care work, and EFT was part of that. Peter walked past our stand at an exhibition, saw the EFT there and came and said hello, and it was just one of those moments that was, um, you know, driven by other forces other than I would have ever imagined. And um, Peter and I just connected then, and it was probably only, I think, a couple of months later that I said to Peter, I'd really love to run a big event here in Australia with um, EFT featuring in that. And um, then a few months later, we formed Mind Heart Connect as a company. And um, we were actually also able to collaborate with Laurie Layden as well from the Tapping Solution Foundation. And um, it's all sort of really just come together very quickly and very excited to have this event coming up in May. That's right. So what about uh, you, Peter? Uh, so I know that you, you know, you're a doctor and you uh, have done a lot of research into EFT. So tell me what, what's fascinating and what really drew, drew you to that. Yeah, look, EFT has been in my life for about 15 years uh, personally, but we had the opportunity about 10 years ago to start to research it. So we've very much been looking at it in that weight uh, food craving kind of area um, because of our obesity issues out there. So it's been fabulous. The outcomes have been outstanding, like nothing you've ever seen compared to traditional therapies uh, in that area, certainly getting weight loss, uh, self-esteem increases, anxiety, things like that. So it's been amazing. Um, I'm obviously based at a university here in Queensland, so we get lots of opportunity to explore this. Um, and like you said in the beginning, even with children and students now, Right. So tell me, what are, when you're doing these studies, what are the kind of things that you're, you're measuring? Yeah, so we, if we're looking at things like weight, uh, we will look at things like food cravings, um, anxiety levels, depression, things like that, because we know all of those are playing a role in people's weight issues. Um, and certainly all our results are showing that tapping immediately affects uh, things like anxiety and food cravings. So people literally sit there five minutes later after tapping on a food and don't feel like eating it. it you've got to see this to believe it. It's outstanding. Yeah, I know. I was actually uh, another person that's also uh, going to be at this uh, live event you're doing is Dr. Joe Dispenza. I was yeah. with him last weekend and Dawson Church was also speaking at this event. He right. also does a lot of work like this as well. So to say that it's, a, it's an understatement to say how effective EFT or tapping really is in these situations. So Kate, mm -hmm. for those people who aren't familiar with, with EFT or tapping, can you explain what it is? Okay, I think that's probably something better that you actually get the professor to explain <laughs> it to you. But I'll just, um, I'll just add here before Peter does, um, when I was first introduced to it, I thought it was the really kooky looking um, technique and it was only just through a friend saying, come on, Kate, you're obviously, you know, annoyed about something here, tap with me. And I thought, oh, my goodness, this girl's seriously off her rocker. But um, that's how I came to it. And I think certainly as a technique, yeah, it does look a bit odd, but certainly when you feel the benefits of it, you really want everybody that you know, love and care for to at least have the opportunity to experience what it is. So... Peter can go into the actual process, would be much better than me. Yeah, because yes. there actually is some science behind it, isn't there, Peter? 
Yeah. Absolutely. So we tap, obviously, with two fingers on pressure points. You know, some of them are on our face, uh, top part of the body. And and we, we have those pressure points affected if we have a massage and things like that. But at the same time, we focus our mind on what our distress is or, you know, like Kate mentioned, what she tapped on initially, that feeling. So we know that as we tap on that pressure point, it sends a signal to the stress response centre in our brain, which quietens that down. So we know that that's why you feel calmer after doing tapping or that's why the food craving decreases and dawson who you mentioned i mean they're doing research now that shows the cortisol level or stress hormone in our body dramatically declines at a physiological level so we've got the hard science that's building we know that it's deregulating stress genes so genes that make up our dna now and i mean that's hard to dispute when we look at that kind of evidence to sort of say these tapping on these acupressure points does way more than just calm us down. Yeah. So so tell me a little bit. I mean, I, you know, I, I can't speak more highly about EFT and, and I actually, you know, teach it with some of my programs as well. But tell me, how are you using it with children now? You know, what, how, what benefits are they starting to get from it too? Yes. Yeah, so we, uh, a couple of years ago now, had some local schools in the Queensland area approach us. So they had heard of the success we were having in the food and weight area and wondered, would it help students with anxiety levels with exams and things like that? And of course, we knew that it helped with anxiety. So we said yes. So we went into three different schools, over 250 students, and they got to participate and learn tapping or EFT for things like exam anxiety, um, their worries about failing, procrastination, handing in assignments. So what we did was we tracked them and followed them up a year later and found that every one of those variables we measured stayed improved. So, of course, you know, we've actually just interviewed some of them recently for some of our other programs coming out. And the students were saying to us, I can't remember what I did the tapping on because I don't worry about it anymore. So we're, we're rolling that out in more schools now. And we're actually starting to teach teachers how to use it every day in the classroom. Yeah, because that's the thing. It's one of those techniques that you can pull out any time you, you know, you are feeling anxious, that you are feeling stressful. You know, I know the way that I use it in the programs is when uh, people have limiting beliefs that are coming up. We've got all these programs and these beliefs that we've been carrying around for 30 or 40 or 50 years. Um, and then we use tapping to be able to, you know, to eliminate those and, and program something differently. In. So what about you, Kate? What were the, uh, the different ways that you were using tapping with, with your programs? So um, when I was first introduced to it, for me, it was um, the ability just to be able to utilise the tapping, whether it just be with um, younger kids. I've got an 11-year-old boy. Um, for him to be able to pick him up from school and he's really annoyed because somebody said something really unkind in the playground, to be able to, you know, cut through that belief that they were hanging on to in a matter of minutes and I mean even while you're driving the car and you can tell your kid to tap on points it's not that hard so I love it in the school environment and with um, Peter's program with tapping in the classroom seeing that roll out in schools in Australia and hopefully globally too will just be the most wondrous thing um, and I think for me anything that I sort of turned my attention to when I left my previous life at age 36 um, it was all about self-care and self-directed things that we could do. And I studied lots of different things, but there was always this little gap. It was always coming back to the, that emotional element. And, you know, it just thrills me when I read books by Deepak or, um, you know, um, Dr. Joe's work and everything, you know, giving the science and the validation to such a simple technique. And I think that's what Peter and I really want to be able to share with people is that, you don't have to know all the ins and outs just to get some benefit. There can be benefit there for everybody. And it doesn't matter where they are in their community, in their workplace, or even just with their own um, family at home. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely one of those things you can kind of do anywhere, anytime. So, uh, so Peter, I, I know that we've talked about a lot of the benefits that happen as a result of this, you know, and like you said, we're just tapping on little, you know, points like acupressure points. So physiologically, what's happening when we do that? Because it looks so simple. <laughs> it 
<laughs> it does. <laughs> and, and what we understand to date is, yeah, this amygdala, this stress part that's deep in the back of our brain, um, it, it's been around for so many hundreds of years at an evolutionary level just to protect us, send out that stress response. But this tapping technique definitely calms that down. And what happens then is obviously things like cortisol, stress hormones in our body reduce as well. So it is why people can start to yawn as they're tapping through and starting to feel more calm and relaxed. They actually start to yawn because that amygdala is not sending that response out anymore. So it, it is such an amazing tool. And given I teach all of the traditional ones here, um, you know, at really high levels, master's programs, EFT really... Uh, has so much more over those. And we are really saying there's a fourth wave of therapies coming through here. And at a clinical level, you know, this fourth wave has reintroduced using the body again. So we're using the body to kind of release some of those things, limiting beliefs, like you said, but those really strong distressing feelings. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, uh, you know, like we said, we're mentioning Laurie Layden, who's a girlfriend of mine who I'm actually going to be meeting up with a little bit later today. Um, she actually uses this technique for trauma healing in Rwanda, and she mm. spent a lot of time in Sandy Hook as well. So uh, so let's get back to, to this live event that you're doing, Kate. I know that you're organising this in Australia. It's in Queensland. Like I said, I've got a few friends that are going to be speaking there. So tell us a little bit about the event and, you know, what's the purpose? What, you know, what is it that you, you know, you'd like to be able to create for this event? So really when we were pulling the event together, it was more about being able to build that bridge between um, members of the community who might not necessarily look at any of the mindfulness practices or certainly EFT. And by having a, a group of speakers where three are EFT experts and three are not, it's just a really nice balance with um, Dr. David Hamilton there as well from the UK. He's just the most wonderful man and the work that he's doing all around um, happiness and kindness and its effect on our physiology once again um, and then obviously with um, Laurie with her work with um, Rwanda and in Newtown is just phenomenal a local neuroscientist here in Australia Dr Helena Popovic and um, Brad Yates as well tapping expert and then obviously Peter and Dr Joe Dispenza so on the Friday we've got the independent workshops with all those keynote speakers and then on the Saturday, the full day plenary, you get to hear from everybody and their knowledge and everything. And then on the Sunday, we've got the format of masterclasses where people will break off into groups into their area of interest. So, for example, it might be with trauma and therefore they go into a group with um, Dr Laurie Layden to do the work with her. The other thing too was really creating a sense of community and there are a lot of people out there doing the most incredible work in so many different avenues, whether it be in mindfulness and meditation or yoga or with EFT tapping, it was bringing together everyone in a physical space where they can connect, they can look at their areas of um, expertise and areas they'd like to work in and to start to hang out with those people and individuals and collaborate and create something quite wondrous as well. So that's really the main reason for it is really to create that sense of community and tools for people to be able to go out into the workplace, home and community to create a far more um, joyous life for all of us really. Yeah, wonderful. So it sounds like that for the people that will be attending that they will actually walk away from that event with the technique, specific techniques that are going to help them with whatever challenge they're facing, which is just, you know, that that's life-changing. It's completely totally. life-changing. So what yeah, dates yeah. are the event? Um, five, six, seven May, and there is a three-day ticket or a two-day ticket, and our VIP special finishes, VIP special, sorry, not, the early bird special finishes on the 28th of February. So if people want to get in and grab the early bird and save 15%, it's a good time to do it now. Wonderful. So guys, if you're watching this video uh, online, just click the banner to the side. It'll take you straight through to the to the website where you can find out all the details about the event. And if you're watching this on the app, you just click the banner underneath that will go through to that. So thank you both Kate and Peter for joining me today. Um, thank you for putting on this event. It's, this is, you know, like I said, it's going to help a lot of people. I think it's in Queensland, the event in May. Yep. Yeah, on the yep. Yeah, so make sure that if you are in Australia and you can get to that event um, and, you know, and you have any of the challenges, like I think we've listed about 50 of them here in the show already um, that you'd like to have help with, I know that EFT is a really effective way to do that. So thanks again, ladies, for joining me. Great. Thanks, thanks Nat.
Great. Thanks. So, guys, I encourage you to share this video. Please get the word out there by clicking the Facebook and the Twitter share buttons on this page. Don't forget to click on the banner to go through to find out about all the details you need about the event. Um, click the link underneath once the show is finished. Uh, if you're on YouTube, so you can take the quiz to see what's holding you back from success. And if you're watching this online, leave your email so that we can send you the Manifesting with the Masters video we course for free. So until next time, remember to live large, choose courageously, and love without limits. We'll see you soon.